Well, how do that, Jumps to Zai, Captain of the Steves. And today, Jumps, for you guys in the viewerverse, I just want to give you a little bit of a heads up and a little bit of a warning around the ship customization. Although it's a freaking awesome feature, how awesome is it inside a multiplayer? Well, me and Ricey done some rigorous testing. It's a two hour long video, and I don't expect everybody to watch the full two hours, but if you do want to, I'll put a link over there so you can watch it. But here is the best bits. Well, I say the best bits. The bits that show off the ship sort of customization might not be working as designed. So here we go, I've jumped over onto YouTube. Now this is a segment that I've managed to clip from the actual uh, video itself. I've muted it, so here you go, let's make it a bit larger. This is Rife's, Rice's Alpha Vector that he's built, and the thing to take note of is here, all the little accent colours he selected to be red. And it looks freaking lovely, I mean look at all this metallic that he's got going on there. Anyway, let's hit play on that for a second, just so you can see it all in all of its splendour. So yeah, it looks great, see? Gameplay footage, actual gameplay footage, nothing sort of shenanigans about it. Right, okay, so if I go on to the next clip here, this is what I saw when I went to visit Rice's base and his ship. And you can see there, that collar is not red, it's like a lettuce green. It's not quite the same colours as what Ricey had planned to be seen by moi. So you go, hit play on this, just so you can see that it is actual physical gameplay footage. The base didn't rendering, that, that's been an issue for some time. It'd be nice if they did actually manage to fix um, all the multiplayer hiccups. <laughs> Isn't that weird having me in there like twice? Yeah, how random. Anyways... What I saw and what Ricey made, two completely different things. But you could just say, well, it's only the green accents. It doesn't overly matter too much. I can live with that. Okay, all right, fine. Maybe you can. Right, well, if I jump on out and I'll show you my creation. So here you go. I'll show you what it should look like first. So this is what I made and this is what it should look like. So I made myself a lovely sort of wide-winged explorer in a metallic red and black and white. My logo colours. So it's the colours that I want it to be. Do you want to see what Ricey saw when he came and looked at my ship? Okay, let's go and show you. Now we also tested this inside the Nexus and inside of the station. The same thing happened, people. So it's not just to do with Ricey's base being large. But here you go, this is what Ricey saw when he came to see my ship. Notice anything? Yeah, it's not red. It's freaking blue. So inside of multiplayer, the colours are not true. And what you see is not what you get. What you design is not always what's seen by other people. So you know what? Until Hello Games puts out a patch note that says we've now fixed colorization appearances in multiplayer, I don't think I'm going to be making any more custom ships because, you know, I scrapped three ships to make this one ship which is a heck of a lot of units, a heck of a lot of time, and then not to get the desired effect at the end of it, kind of isn't exactly great. So I will be doing a review of the actual um, orbital update at some point. Now, I have been playing through on my PC. I'm thoroughly enjoying it on PC. I do see the benefits of all the changes that they've made around the trade and also the guild agents. But at the moment, ship customization, as great as it is, it doesn't deliver once you're into multiplayer and it just gets me how this hasn't been tested you know why is it that this is a thing but anyway people that's pretty much all i've got for you a little bit of a heads up a little bit of a warning around ship customization it's not quite doing as it is intended to do Okay, so I'm going to be jumping back into Dragon's Dogma 2 and doing a little bit of a playthrough on that. I am also going to be hitting up my PC save inside of No Man's Sky and pressing onwards. I still need to test out all the frigate sort of missions. I need to test out how decent this guild agent and trade is now when you're in a new save opposed to Legacy. And I will be doing a review of the Orbital sort of update. Okay, people, so stay tuned, stay locked in. If you like the sounds of any of that, hit the like and subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss, miss the next video. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.